Chef Kate here. Today I want to show you guys how to make easy kebabs. They come together so simple and they're so delicious. You're going to love them. I want to show you how to make this on the grill or on the stovetop. No matter your situation, we've got you covered. Today we're going to be using sirloin steaks, but you could also use tri-tip or if you want to spend a little bit more, you could go with a tenderloin. To start, we're going to cut our steaks into two inch cubes. If you have any fat sections that you want to trim off, feel free to do so. There's nothing worse than getting a bite full of fat and gristle, so for me, I'm definitely trimming off the fat. You want to cut these into similar sizes so that you have a more even cook. Transfer these to a bowl, and we're going to get started on our marinade. To start off our marinade, we're going to juice two limes, which is going to give us about a quarter cup total. Next, I'm going to mince some fresh cilantro. You're going to need about a fourth a cup of finely minced cilantro. Next, we're going to add three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, or however you want to say it. Then two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and about three cloves of minced garlic. We'll give this a quick whisk to combine, then pour it over our beef. Grab some tongs and get that marinade all around that beef. Cover this and pop this in the fridge to marinate for at least one hour, but up to four. I'm going to be using metal skewers, but if you want to use the bamboo skewers, make sure you soak them in water for at least 30 minutes. As you thread your meat, make sure you give that space in between the meat, like this, so that that meat has that airflow around it. That's how you're going to ensure an even cook. How many skewers you get is based off of how much meat you use. Today we used four steaks and we have six skewers. First I'm going to show you how to cook these on the grill. Fire up the grill to a nice hot heat so we can get a really pretty sear. Super easy, we are setting these right on the grates. About 90 seconds in, we're going to rotate our skewers. It gets a little tricky, but be patient, you'll get there. It's a little hard to use a meat thermometer when making kebabs, so I go by fill. The firmer it is, the more well done it is. I'm cooking mine to medium rare, but cook yours to however you like. To cook it indoors, all you need is a heavy skillet, or if you've got one, a heavy grill pan. I'm using a grill pan and it is smoking hot. The heat on your stove is a little bit different, so just watch it closely and flip as needed. Just like before, we're checking for doneness by fill. Once they've reached your desired level of doneness, you are ready to eat. So easy. I'm Chef Kate, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.